The treasurer of a high school chorus club in Lakeland is in deep trouble tonight after her arrest for stealing $11,000 in club funds. Heather DeBellis faces 17 criminal charges. Investigators tell Aid on Your Side that the chorus club thefts began more than a year ago at George Jenkins High School. Mark Douglas joins us now live at the high school where the chorus club's future is now in doubt, right, Mark? Uh, very much so, Josh, and a good evening to you. You know, the kids and the parents uh, involved in this chorus program here at George Jenkins work very hard to raise this money that supports their musical programs. Now, after this alleged ripoff by the treasurer, they're not sure how their shows are going to go on. <laughs> Parents are proud of the kids who sing and dance as part of the George Jenkins Chorus Club. And now they're ashamed of the one parent they entrusted with the money that keeps that club going. Disheartening, disenchanting. Booster Club President Katie Alak tells me she first discovered a problem months ago. That's when bill collectors started calling. I just decided to go in and, and look further in, into the account, and that's when the findings just kept stacking up. ALAC tells me she discovered a trail of checks that club treasurer Heather DeBellis wrote to herself. Checks totaling more than $11,000 over the course of a year. She had access to money, and she wanted it. So she took it. She stole it. In typical fashion, Sheriff Grady Judd doesn't mind sharing his opinion about what's wrong with that. She takes advantage of the children. She takes advantage of the course. Now, I've got to tell you, we're not happy about that. We locked her up in the county jail where she belongs. Polk County fraud detectives arrested DeBellis on 17 charges, ranging from scheme to defraud to forgery. Meanwhile, ALAC and other Booster Club parents aren't sure how their shows will go on. Our bank account right now is, is pretty bad off. DeBellis quickly bonded out of jail, but didn't answer her door today. What song do you think she's singing today? I wish I hadn't done that. Do da, do da. The booster president tells me her club is now working to tighten up controls to ensure that this sort of thing never happens again. They already thought they had those controls, but apparently they weren't tight enough. Meanwhile, uh, with this loss and without any insurance, she's not sure how this club is going to survive an $11,000 loss, Josh. Pretty much drained their accounts. Yeah, and this is these are positions that people trust. Uh, so what do other booster organizations, what can they learn from this, this issue? Well, according to Sheriff uh, Grady Judd, there should be audits, if not annually, even semi-annually, and monthly, any booster club anywhere, and this happens all over the place, we've heard this story before, every month the booster clubs should get an accounting, a full and valid accounting of all the money coming in and going out so they can keep track of it before it gets this far down the road, in this case, since last August. Yeah, it's sad it has to get to that, but that might be the right uh, step. All right, Mark Douglas, live for us in Lakeland tonight. Thanks so much.